10 Top Superfoods to Increase Blood Flow and Circulation Inadequate blood flow is a common problem that may have a significant impact on our overall well-being, which in extreme cases may be life-threatening. Having healthy blood circulation not only helps the body rid itself of waste products, but also ensures that oxygen and nutrients are distributed evenly throughout the body. Poor blood circulation is a potential contributor to a wide range of health issues, including cardiovascular disease. In addition to that, a disruption in blood flow may have a negative impact on an athlete's performance. Although problems with circulation are typically treated with medication, it is essential to keep in mind that certain foods may also have some benefits to offer in this regard. In today's video, we are going to discuss the top 10 foods that have been shown to improve circulation and blood flow. Always consult with your primary care physician to receive a tailored strategy specifically for your health profile. Let's get started. 1. Fatty fish Fish such as salmon, mackerel, and trout are rich in omega-3 fatty acids. These essential fats are known to enhance blood circulation through several mechanisms. You may be aware that chronic inflammation may damage blood vessels and lead to atherosclerosis, which is the narrowing of the arteries. Since omega-3s have anti-inflammatory properties, they may reduce inflammation in blood vessel walls, supporting better circulation. In addition to that, omega-3s have mild blood thinning properties, which may help prevent excessive clot formation. This reduces the risk of blood clots that may obstruct blood flow and cause circulation problems. Omega-3s may reduce triglyceride levels in the blood, which is beneficial because high triglycerides may contribute to narrowed arteries and impaired circulation. Numerous studies have shown that omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids promote vasodilation through the relaxation of smooth muscle cells, exert anti-inflammatory actions that delay the development of plaques, and decrease wall stiffening. To benefit from the advantages that fatty fish has to offer for the circulatory system, people should eat at least two servings of fatty fish per week, each weighing about 3.5 ounces. 2. Beets Beets are a natural source of nitrates, which are converted into nitric oxide, NO, in the body. In order to improve blood flow, NO acts as a vasodilator, telling blood vessels to loosen and spread out. In addition to this, it has been demonstrated that nitrates lower blood pressure, which may be particularly beneficial for people who suffer from hypertension, also known as high blood pressure. By promoting vasodilation, nitrates help reduce the force against which the heart must pump blood, ultimately lowering blood pressure. Moreover, nitrates have the ability to increase blood flow to active muscles, which may result in an improvement in an individual's performance during physical activity. In order to improve their endurance and stamina, athletes and other people who participate in physically demanding activities frequently consume foods or supplements that are rich in nitrates. 13 young adults, ages 23 to 27, took part in a study and drank concentrated beetroot juice with 12.6 or 16.8 millimole nitrate. Adding nitrate greatly increased blood flow to the forearm during hand grip exercise with hypoxia at 15% and 25%. In fact, a daily consumption of approximately 8 ounces of beetroot juice containing dietary nitrate may potentially be beneficial for individuals with impaired muscle perfusion and exercise intolerance. 3. Dark Chocolate Flavonoids, and more specifically, flavanols, found in dark chocolate, have been linked to increased blood flow and overall health. Flavanols have the ability to increase the production of nitric oxide in the body, which ultimately results in the relaxation of blood vessels. This effect contributes to an improvement in circulation. It is possible that certain flavanols, 
have very mild antiplatelet effects, which aid in preventing an excessive amount of clot formation in the blood. This lowers the likelihood of clots forming, which may prevent blood from flowing normally. In a study with 17 healthy young volunteers who consumed 100 grams of dark chocolate, it increased the size of their arm arteries by 0.15 millimeters at rest and 0.18 millimeters during increased blood flow. Additionally, it enhanced their artery function and minimized wave reflection, contributing to overall cardiovascular well-being. However, keep in mind that moderation is the key. If you wonder where to start monitoring your love of dark chocolate, start with a daily consumption of one and a half to two ounces, about 30 to 40 grams, with a cocoa content of at least 70% to improve circulation. Four, citrus fruits. Fruits with citrus peels, such as oranges and grapefruits, are excellent sources of vitamin C which helps to improve circulation by reducing the constriction of vein walls. You might already be aware of the fact that oxygen-derived free radicals are a factor in the abnormal vascular reactivity that is associated with hypercholesterolemia. It is a condition characterized by higher levels of cholesterol in the blood. Vitamin C possesses antioxidant properties that enable it to counteract the effects of free radicals and aid in the dilation of blood vessels. Free radicals can damage nitric oxide, but this substance stops them from doing so. This aids endothelium-dependent vasodilation in the arms. In one study into the effects of taking vitamin C supplements at a rate of 24 mg per minute, the participants included 11 patients with hypercholesterolemia and 12 healthy patients. The study found that giving vitamin C, along with methacholine, improved endothelium-dependent vasodilation in people with high cholesterol. 5. Ginger Gingerol, the active compound in ginger, is also known for its antioxidant properties, which help protect blood vessels from oxidative stress and inflammation. This protection maintains the health of blood vessel walls, reducing the risk of narrowing or damage that may impede circulation. A systematic review of six clinical trials involving 345 participants found that ginger supplementation significantly reduced systolic blood pressure by 6.36 points and diastolic blood pressure by 2.12 points. These benefits were most pronounced in studies with participants under 50 years of age, interventions lasting up to eight weeks, and ginger doses of three grams daily or more. Six, leafy greens. Leafy greens are a good source of non-heme iron, which is essential for the production of hemoglobin, a protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen. Also, an adequate iron intake ensures that your body can efficiently transport oxygen to cells and tissues, supporting overall circulation. In addition to that, leafy greens are typically low in saturated fats and cholesterol, which may contribute to the buildup of plaque in the arteries. When you have a diet low in these unhealthy fats, you maintain clear, flexible blood vessels and reduce the risk of atherosclerosis. Moreover, many leafy greens are rich in magnesium, which is important for maintaining normal blood pressure and preventing spasms in blood vessels. Research has shown that the daily consumption of two ounce nitrate rich green leafy vegetables has shown promising blood pressure, lowering effects and improved endothelial function in healthy adults. Seven, turmeric. Curcumin, found in turmeric, is known for its strong anti-inflammatory properties. You must be aware that chronic inflammation may damage blood vessels and reduce their ability to function properly. By reducing inflammation, curcumin may help maintain the health of blood vessels and promote better blood flow. Aside from that, curcumin is an extremely effective antioxidant, 
Antioxidants are extremely popular as a way to shield cells and blood vessels from the harmful effects of oxidative stress and prevent damage from free radicals. Therefore, curcumin may support overall cardiovascular health and circulation by reducing the damage from oxidants that are present in the body. A study that was conducted in 2017 on a group of 39 people found that taking 2,000 milligrams of curcumin every day for a period of 12 weeks led to an increase in forearm blood flow of 37% and an increase in upper arm blood flow of 36%. 8. Watermelon Watermelon is composed of about 90% water, making it an excellent hydrating food. Since proper hydration is essential for maintaining adequate blood volume and viscosity, staying hydrated becomes crucial for blood flow. Dehydration may lead to thicker blood and reduced circulation. Additionally, watermelon is a good source of an amino acid called L-citrulline. In the body, L-citrulline is converted into another amino acid, L-arginine, which plays a key role in the production of nitric oxide. Later, nitric oxide works as a vasodilator, reducing vascular resistance to improve blood flow. Moreover, watermelon is rich in lycopene. It is a powerful antioxidant that has been associated with cardiovascular benefits due to its potential to reduce inflammation. In fact, studies have shown that watermelon-derived L-citrulline appears to improve vascular function including arterial stiffness and blood pressure. Consuming more than 700 milliliters of watermelon juice is one way to accomplish this goal. 9. Garlic Garlic contains allicin, a compound that has antiplatelet effects. This indicates that it has the potential to aid in preventing an excessive amount of platelets in the blood from clumping together. When platelets clump together, they have the potential to form clots, which may restrict the flow of blood. Allicin promotes more efficient blood circulation and lowers the risk of blood clot formation by inhibiting the aggregation of platelets. To get the most out of garlic's health benefits, try to consume between one and two fresh cloves of garlic on a daily basis, preferably with your meals. Garlic supplements were found to significantly lower both systolic and diastolic blood pressure in a meta-analysis that included 12 trials and 553 hypertensive participants. The reduction in systolic blood pressure was 8.3 points and the reduction in diastolic blood pressure was 5.5 points. This reduction in blood pressure was associated with a reduced risk of heart-related issues ranging from 16 to 40%. 10. Pomegranate Pomegranate is loaded with polyphenols, which have been shown to improve circulation and the health of blood vessels. In addition to that, pomegranates may also have a beneficial effect on cholesterol levels by lowering LDL cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, while simultaneously raising HDL cholesterol, the good cholesterol. And you may feel amazed to know that improved cholesterol profiles may reduce the risk of atherosclerosis, a condition that may restrict blood flow. Consuming pomegranate in the form of a juice, the raw fruit, or as a supplement may also improve blood flow and oxygenation of muscle tissue, which could be especially beneficial for people who engage in physical activity. For instance, a study conducted in 2016 discovered that elite weightlifters experienced less muscle soreness, damage, and inflammation after consuming 17 fluid ounces, or 500 milliliters of pomegranate juice, on a daily basis, either during or before their weight training sessions. What are the potential dangers of poor blood circulation system? Restricted blood circulation, also known as poor circulation or peripheral vascular disease may have several potential dangers and negative health consequences. The following is a list of some of the dangers that come with having restricted blood circulation. 1. Tissue damage. 
Due to a lack of adequate blood flow, the cells and tissues in the affected area do not receive adequate amounts of oxygen and nutrients. This may result in tissue damage, which may lead to ulcers. Additionally, it will make it more difficult for wounds to heal, and in severe cases, it could even lead to the death of tissue, also known as gangrene. 2. Pain and Discomfort It is important for you to be aware that reduced blood flow may frequently result in pain and discomfort, especially in the extremities, hands, feet, and legs. Symptoms of this condition may include cramping, numbness, tingling, or aching in the affected area. 3. Cold Extremities In addition to that, people with restricted blood circulation may experience cold extremities, cold hands and feet, due to reduced blood flow to these areas. It heightens people's sensitivity to respiratory illnesses, like the common cold. 4. Risk of blood clots The risk of developing blood clots in the legs, also known as deep vein thrombosis, is increased when blood flow is poor. It could be fatal if a blood clot broke loose and traveled to the lungs, which is known as a pulmonary embolism, or to any of the other vital organs. 5. Skin Changes As a result of an inadequate supply of oxygen, the skin in regions that suffer from poor circulation may become bluish, bluish-gray, or even cyanotic. The skin may become dry, itchy, and more susceptible to infections as a result of the condition. 6. Nerve Damage Inadequate circulation for an extended period of time may cause nerve damage in the affected areas, which may result in neuropathy. It may lead to a loss of sensation, weakness in the muscles, and problems with coordination. 7. Increased risk of cardiovascular events It is a well-established fact that poor blood circulation in the legs or other parts of the body may be an early warning sign of an underlying cardiovascular condition. People who have problems with their blood circulation might have an increased risk of having a heart attack or a stroke. 8. Amputation In extreme circumstances, such as when circulation cannot be restored or wounds become infected, it may be necessary to amputate the affected limbs in order to stop the spread of infection and save the life of the person. It is essential for one's overall health to ensure that their blood flow and circulation are kept in good condition. There are many natural ways to improve circulation, one of which is by choosing these 10 foods that stimulate blood flow. These foods contain a variety of substances, including antioxidants, nitrates, vitamins, and other nutrients that may have a beneficial effect on your circulation and lessen the likelihood of developing cardiovascular issues. However, it is essential to maintain a balanced diet and speak with a medical professional in order to receive individualized recommendations on how to improve your blood flow and circulation. In addition, if you suffer from food allergies, you should never hesitate to seek the advice of a dietitian. You can safeguard your health with a well-functioning circulatory system by making an educated and concise decision. Our daily diets play a crucial role in maintaining our health. If you are looking for more food-related videos, here are a few more to check out. Watch 11 Powerful Brain Foods That Can Help Fight Dementia Or try 10 Superfoods That Can Help Protect Your Kidneys From Damage Go ahead, watch one, or even better, both. What foods do you rely on for boosting your blood circulation? Tell us in the comments section below.